the Big Bang should have created equal amounts of matter and antimatter, but we don't find it to be so. A hypothesis says that all this vanished antimatter is what helped primordial black holes to grow into ultra-massive black holes, quasars, such as TAN-618, which is 66 billion solar masses, etc. Um, so it may be even bigger now. So can you please explain this? So what you are asking is about why do we only observe regular matter in the universe? Why don't we observe antimatter? The universe should have created, the Big Bang should have created equal amounts of matter and antimatter. We expect the universe to be neutral, right? Charge neutral, matter neutral, all that. And therefore, where is the antimatter? So one of the proposed uh, solutions to this problem is that maybe, maybe antimatter exists in the non-observable universe. Maybe there are regions of the universe in which matter, regular matter predominates. And maybe there are uh, regions of the universe where antimatter predominates. So, and maybe, maybe we, are, we are not able to see those. Maybe because maybe the, the actual universe is much larger than the ob observable universe. And maybe the antimatter is somewhere else beyond our cosmic horizon. That is one possibility. The other possibility, the other theory or hypothesis is that the Big Bang gave rise to two universes, a regular universe and an anti-universe. So the regular universe contains regular matter, the, the matter that we are made of, and the anti-universe contains anti-matter. And it's the kind of universe where time flows backward or whatever, right? So that's another hypothesis. So that could possibly explain this problem. So this uh, problem that you speak about is called the baryon asymmetry problem or the matter-antimatter asymmetry problem. As of today, we don't have an explanation for why matter pre predominates over antimatter. There are a number of theories, like I said, but none of them has been proven thus far. So it is an open unsolved problem in physics as of today.